even though college will be a new and exciting adventure, more than half of American high school seniors say they are not prepared for college, whether it be the higher educational level of courses or the fact they are leaving home. Transitioning between senior year in high school to your freshman year in college is a task most students will take on. In just a few short months, I will be making this transition myself from a small 1A school to university in Corpus Christi. The transition from high school to college is an important and intricate experience and stepping stone. You're going to gain important life skills, a sense of freedom, responsibility, and maturing into an adult. However, when making the switch between high school and college as a student, you should be aware of the available resources, knowing how to budget, and be open to getting out of your comfort zone. First, let's talk about what resources are available to make this process of transition a bit smoother. With millions of high school seniors throughout the United States having to make the same transition, each student needs to be aware of the available resources at their campus. Going into your freshman year of college, be sure to utilize your campus resources. Academic advisors help you decide what courses to take, what courses to drop, or they're the ones you can turn to during an academic conflict. Most colleges provide learning labs and available tutors. If you're having trouble in the class, don't be scared or embarrassed to ask for help. If you do not feel comfortable asking for help, then create a study group. Another great group of people to turn to when times get rough are your roommates. Do not be afraid to get to know your roommates and the other people in your resident hall. Your roommates are people you'll be living with for the rest of the year or possibly the next four years. Most of them will be going through similar experiences and emotional roller coasters as you. These people will become some of your most trusted and loyal friends. They will become your safety net. Now that we have talked about what resources are available, let's talk about saving money. Financial aid is a great resource to know about. FAFSA is an online application you fill out every school year. A great way to stay on top of reapplying is to get organized. While in high school, teachers normally lead you down the right path for your homework assignments and due dates. However, in college, professors post the stock. However, in college, professors post the assigned work and expect you to be prepared and responsible enough to turn it in on time. Buying an organizer may sound useless, but it will help you stay on top of homework, bills, and whatever else may be going on at that time. An organizer can also help yourself keep track of your money. Find ways to stretch your money, for example, creating a budget. A budget is just a plan on how you spend your money monthly. You'll compare your earnings and your spendings each month to determine what your monthly budget will be. Now that we have talked about what resources are available and saving money, let's talk about new experiences and connecting with your campus. While in high school, you may not have studied as much as you should. However, that will change your freshman year of college. Explore your campus and find a spot that you can escape to when needing to focus because loud dorm rooms of shared living space can be very distracting. Your spot needs to be tranquil, relaxing, and a private location for you to be able to concentrate. For example, the upper stacks of the main library, an unoccupied classroom, or outdoor under a tree. However, as focused and diligent student, it will be tempting to seclude yourself with your studies. Do not forget that half of the education you're earning is outside the doors of a classroom. Don't be afraid to get involved with academic clubs, social organizations, and professional associations. Stepping out from your comfort zone is a great way to enhance your overall experience. During your first semester or even year, you may find yourself overwhelmed with the college life. You will learn how to balance your course work and social activities, but also be sure to set a time aside for yourself. Not to, to the point of losing yourself in the sight of your goals and falling behind in classes. A major aspect of college is learning how to take care of yourself, which means managing a healthy diet, exercising regularly, and getting a sufficient amount of sleep. You need to take care of your mind and body in order to be successfully in academics. In conclusion, when graduating high school and moving to college, you will be a new it will be a new and exciting stepping stone in your life. But do not be afraid to meet new people and ask for help. This new chapter will be an exciting step towards your future. When man making the transaction, 
between high school and college, you need to know what resources are available, how to live off a small budget, and connect with other students. More than half of the American high school seniors say they are not prepared for their freshman year of college. Leaving home gives you this insight of freedom, but do not take this freedom for advantage. Be sure you take care of your business and also yourself. My references were thebalance.com, livecareer.com, and savingforcollege.com.